Good afternoon, everybody, or good evening, good morning, whoever in the world you may be. So welcome to Orchid Chat with Dr. Connors on part two of Winterizing My Orchids. Right, so this is the ground floor and I've placed all of my orchids. They were outside before for the winter. So I actually have half of them, the cut layers. They have always been inside. I did not bring them outside this summer because they were doing quite well inside. So I decided to just keep them. So however, some of them, they were outside. Um, uh, these are actually a combination of cut layers grams as you can see and zomborgia zomborgia yes <laughs> and also some dendrobiums i have and i'll show you the other variety that i have here the other uh, genus that i have here all right so as you can see so these are um i rehabilitated these these are grammatophyllium tiger brogas they were sick last year I lost um, a lot uh, um, uh, to uh, pseudobulbs uh, rot, but I managed to save them. Uh, they actually did not have any roots. So this one, I just submerged it into a pile of uh, um, uh, fur bark and some uh, sphagnum moss. And this one, I just basically just put it in an apple basket on the beginning of the summer and took them out and here it is here they are they both have growth and this one is pretty amazing because it looks like it's having a cakey because this one was rotted out on the bottom so it did not have um it did not have any roots so one thing that i have discovered i mean through the years you know, you can actually, I mean, if you cut the pseudobulbs, if the pseudobulb is rotting, like as you can see over here, you can cut all the rotting uh, portion of it and just wrap it with sphagnum moss, put it under a light and just put a bloody fertilizer like every week or so during the summer or during the winter, just treat it, like put it under light and with sphagnum moss and live moss. And voila, you, I was able to uh, to save these. And so these are my cut layers. Oh, this is actually, they are beginning to have sheets again. You can see they have lots of growths. My Zomborgia there that almost uh, died um, uh, this winter. So I managed to save some of it. It did not bloom this year, unfortunately, but it bloomed last year. So I have this and the grow light, that is a very bright light. It's 3000, that one is 3000, it's very bright. And they are under the light for now, I started uh, to put them 12 hours instead of the usual 14 hours that I give them. And they, these actually cut layers, they all bloomed last year, last season, this spring. And uh, I was quite happy about that. And that's my, um, nobly. Okay, so this one also, you know, I thought that I lost it, but now it has a lot of growth. Some more cut layers there. And I'm gonna show you in the back. Uh, more cut, my dendrobium right here. It became a specimen size, a uh, spectable. So, um, uh, one, some of it are on spike already, if I can see. I think, oh no, it's the other one, not this one. So, here you are. And then, of course, I have the rehab table. There you go. This is the rehab table. So, um, 
during the summer I usually separate anything that's struggling or they or they have pest infested. So um on and, and also um these are already in recovery. So I have been battling um infestation of scales. So like this one, you know, so you can see again there. So every single day I haven't cleaned it yet. Every single day I take soap, soapy water and basically brush it. And um, I'm notorious about just like going to every single one of it and just removing the scale. All right, but as you can see that it is recovering, it has a new broth. There you go. But these, I assume it, there you go. So I had to cut the leaves because it was affected. Also these ones, they are now in recovery, but still, I'm still battling a little bit of infestation. Oh, the one that I could not um, uh, save, oh, they are outside. So I'm going to show you this later in a different video. This vanilla, uh, orchid right here it was struggling to survive I thought it was on its deathbed um, last winter but it rebounded and here it is now it has new growth all right same thing with all these dendros I thought that I've lost them you know when I got sick last November uh, January I was in the hospital for quite a long time Oh, I wasn't here to care for them and I lost half of my collection of dendrobiums and here's more Calais so I thought that I was going to rid of them but they have new broths now <clears throat> okay sorry There you go. All right, so this is what you see, and it has also new growth, more calais, and yes, that is the recovery table. So I put all my recovering um, plants there, and hoping that by the end of winter. Uh, they will have um, fully recovered from their own ailments. <laughs> so, yeah. This one, uh, it had scale also, but uh, now it's, um, it's recovering. So it's actually put out new growth there. So I'm very elated about that. So a lot of these, actually, uh, they were infested or they were sick. Uh, I treated them so they recovered, well, on their way to recovery. I still have, uh, it's very difficult to fight actually the, um, uh, the scale. So that has been the major issue about cutlayers. They are just, and you know, they infest um, everything else around them. That's why you've got to separate them. So there they are. So that is the recovery table. And this is part two of my winterizing uh, my orchid. So, yeah, so this is in my ground floor or the basement. <laughs> so there you go. And I'm going to show you. Uh, the third one, which is another part of the house in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you.